Yeah. Uh, I know that some in our audience don't know the finer points of hockey. Uh, could you tell them, for example, uh, what is icing? Well, um, icing happens when uh, the puck come down, bang, you know, before the other guys, mm -hmm. nobody there, you know. Mm -hmm. My arm go comes out, then uh, the game stopped, then start up. Mm -hmm. I see. <laughs> uh, what is high sticking? High sticking happens when uh, the guy take the stick, you know, and he go like that. You know, you don't do that. You don't do that? Oh, no, never, never. Why not? Against the rules. You know, you're stupid when you do that. Just some English pig with no uh, brain Dennis, at all, um, you know. What is uh, slashing? Slashing is um, like that, you know. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And um, there's a penalty for that? Yeah. Uh, and for a trip also, you know, oh. like that. And mm -hmm. for hook like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, for spear, you know, like that. Mm -hmm. All bad. Bad. You do that, you go to the box, you know. Uh, Two minutes by yourself, and you feel shame, you know, mm -hmm. and then you get free. Uh, the Chiefs are at home tonight against Cyanusport at the War Memorial at 8. Good seats are still available. A look at sports. I think that went very well. Yes, I think it went very well indeed. What's up, brothers? How are you? The CW rolling on, Ranch Hall Freak Show. Week number three, camera number one. Great to be with you. The BJ Sports Pub starting five is just around the corner. Here's how the whole show runs tonight. And welcome all South Park heads into the family. Brothers, you're not going to have to flip to look for any more trippy stuff going on. It's a perfect one-two punch. Everyone that I've ever met in my 40 years would say, are you kidding me? South Park into Renshaw after midnight. I would kill for that. So welcome to the CW. We're here every night, Monday through Friday at 1130. Tomorrow night is going to be simple and pure magic as the Kentucky Gators. Kentucky Gators game is at 9. We'll be taking notes in the conference room upstairs with Chinese food and hookers. And they'll be dictating the notes. And at 1130 when the game's over, it'll be pick up the phones, 267-2422. Are you bleeding Kentucky or Gator Blue? But today uh, we start the show with the BJ Sports Pub starting five. Number one on that list, obviously, is one of the worst things to ever happen in this city. I never thought that something that was more disgusting could get more disgusting. Something that was more of a joke that could, could turn more disgustingly uh, into a joke. One of the most pathetic regimes in recent sports history continues to run aimlessly, aimlessly and mindlessly, destroying what was once a proud football team, whether it was only for a small part-time or not. Jeff Rahm, psych, only given one year. His legacy at Louisville. He could have left this team and played at Notre Dame or Alabama as a player or a coach, and he stayed here. Jurich, you never liked the Brahms. Cragthorpe, you never liked Brahm. Cragthorpe, you ruined Brahm's brother's pro career. This guy, Jeff Brahm, stayed true to the program. Hey, Cragthorpe, you're calling plays now? You called plays after the Kentucky game last year. You little curly Q, piggly wiggly. You called plays after game one. How about this, Cragthorpe? I got two sources to tell me this. The only time the team played well last year was Kansas State. You were sick all week, allegedly. You didn't come into practice once all week against K-State. You sent text messages to the coaches. Point number two, I heard the flight home from Rutgers was the most livid, absurd, wild trip since a Petrino bowl game victory. That's right, a 59 to whatever it was, three loss. The players were so uncontrollable with their iPods dancing up and down, violencing, partying, that the, and the player, the coaches were on tranquilizers, having no leadership, no idea what to do, that the frickin' stewardess, the stewardess chick, had to get on the thing and say, can you please settle down? Coaches didn't have enough to grab them and, and, and frickin' push them down. I'll give Cragthorpe one bit of credit, and screw you, Jurich, and screw you, Cragthorpe. One bit of credit. It's all on the line now. He's calling the plays. Next year, it's either Willie Mays or Happy Days. Point number two on the starting lineup tonight. Ga Gators and Cats. Is it a must win? Hell, mother flipper, yes. Must win. You don't believe in must wins, Billy Clyde. You must not believe in the Lord Jesus himself. You must hang out with Rick Pitino and juggle them damn damn snakes and drink that Jim Jones Kool-Aid and the weird sunglasses in the moving bold spot. 
Three in a row, first time since 39. You're so lucky the Cats can't guard any guards because the Gators don't have any guards. Will Calathis go nuts? Who knows? Tyus is big enough to give Patterson his money down low. Werner can outmuscle Stevenson a little bit. It's not like there's a lot of guards that Kentucky has either that's going to be able to take advantage of the lack of guards that Florida has. Certainly Calathis a three-way player and certainly Hodge, a guy that has some national championship experience. But next year's the year for Florida. Tonight, my pick of the night is Kentucky laying the four tomorrow night. I can't wait to come on this show. Part of me wants them to lose to hear the pure hatred for what has become to, of the pr proudest basketball team in America. And a larger part of me wants me to win them to win because I want them in the tournament because I just think it'll make things more interesting for all. If they lose, I will be able to say that I sat here during three of the most historic periods in time. The fall apart of Louisville football since I've been here in 2006. The reemergence of Kentucky football. Um, Indiana basketball crumbling beyond the turd. And then Kentucky losing four straight and three straight SEC games at home for the night, first time since 1939. Starting five, BJ's, let's roll. Point number four, new bracketology after point number three, which is a lazy Sunday afternoon. The Cards should have lost the game. If the Cards were playing anybody else, they would have lost. And you'll get the official highlights of this game later. But to me, it wasn't Jerry Smith who scored 19 points in the second half. The star was Terrence Jennings and his three offensive rebounds late. Nine out of ten doctors, by the way, rec recommend DJ Kennedy's elbow. Nine out of ten dentists love it. He'll be good for Thursday night against Notre Dame when they lose. My dream came true. Jennings got to play more because Samuels went out. I didn't want Samado. Why, why are some people calling him Samado now to get hurt? All I know is Jerry got benched and then hit 19 in the second half, one of the most bizarre last plays ever in a game. The two offensive rebounds and the backdoor cut to Jerry Smith, but it's all TJ, 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 while they play that game at Madison Square Garden. Can you blame the Cards for being all lazy, for playing on a Sunday at noon and not showing up? You know, that Mike Kelly, a little annoying, the Wisconsin guy that did the color, but he was right, and we've all said it. Is it true mentally that you could possibly depend too much on the spurt that you think's coming and sleepwalk through a game? Do you think you can sleepwalk through the entire tournament? And what do you think about Thursday night? I've talked to like all four of my friends and two of them think that Louisville's going to lose Notre Dame. Last point, uh, two more points, four and five real quick. Four, new bracketology, Louisville's road to the final four if the tournament started today. Looks pretty easy until they get to the last round. Booker could kill them down low. North Carolina with no Ginyard to stop T. Will. Kentucky's an 11 seed and Louisville's a 2 seed. Kentucky's road to the Final Four looks like this, I believe. You would think they would lose in the, uh, in the third round of the at the earliest, or at the latest. They might get past B Butler. They might get pa past M Memphis, who beat Gonzaga this past weekend. They wouldn't get past Wake, and they wouldn't get past UConn. Everyone here knows that's uh, at the very, very, very most a two-win a two win bracket, a and it's quite feasible that they don't make it at all. Big point number five, our starting center on the Bear Nose BJ starting five of the night is whose teeth would you like to knock out? Here, obviously, Samato Samuel's teeth gets knocked out. I want to knock, knock out... Jim Rome's teeth, I want to knock out Billy Packer's teeth, I want to knock out Vern Lundquist's teeth, I want to knock out Jay Billis's teeth, I want to knock, knock out Tom Jurich's teeth, I want to knock out Steve Cragthorpe's teeth, I want to knock out Doris Burke's teeth, because they're made of wood, she's a puppet anyway, I want to knock out Gus Johnson's teeth, I want to knock out Jim Nance's teeth, I want to knock out Camillo Villegas' teeth, I want to knock out Gary McCord's teeth, I want to knock out Jay Mariotti's teeth, I want to give out the homo that runs that show's teeth. I want to knock out uh, um, uh, Woody Page's teeth. I want to knock out the afternoon underdog's teeth. I want to knock out Amanda Green's teeth um, because I heard it can get better that way. Just kidding. Hey, calls second segment. Calls third segment. Calls fourth segment. Calls fifth segment. Rapid fire, highlights, rap. Light them up now. Two, six, seven. 24, 22. The People's Court with Judge Marilyn Million. I think it's amazing to be the presiding judge on People's Court in its 25th year. There's what you say, and there's what you say, and now there's the truth. I think the reason for People's Court longevity is that it's real. You ruined the relationship with your sister. I don't know how many siblings you guys have or you can spare one, but I can't. 
25 seasons. A million reasons to watch. The People's Court, weeknights at 6 on The CW Louisville. I was limited. Keeping track of everything was driving me crazy. With my old cell plan, I had to talk on their time, not mine. That's why I switched to Cricket. Now I'm unlimited for real. I stay connected with everyone, whenever, without worrying about how much it's going to cost me. Call 1-800-853-6260 now and for 40 bucks a month, get unlimited talk, text, and U.S. long distance. That's to anyone on any network 24-7 on our all-digital 3G network with no signed contracts and no overages. And right now, save $50 on these cool Samsung phones or get the full-featured Samsung specs for only $49.99. So why wait? Call 1-800-853-6260, go to mycricket.com, or visit a Cricket store today and get unlimited talk, text, and U.S. long distance for just 40 bucks a month. Getting it together is a whole lot easier when you're unlimited. Call, click, or come into a Cricket store today. Cricket Wireless. Real unlimited, unreal savings. Do me, do me. Ride real on the CW Louisville. Featuring Louisville's own Jeremy and Jason Canwell of Derby City Custom Motorcycles and Derby City Tattoos. Wild bikes, wild nights. And you'll see it happen right in your own backyard. Ride real. A trip through Louisville life that'll touch your heart and rock your soul. Ride real on the CW Louisville. Brought to you by Wix Pizza, Bionic Gloves, Commonwealth Dodge, and 1051 WLRS. Hey, don't know if you missed it tonight, a buzzer beater between Kansas and Missouri. We're going to get to the phone calls and we're going to talk to someone about that here in a second. However, our, only some of you know how big that game is. It is that close to Louisville, Kentucky and Carolina Duke. And only those of you that watch games every single night on ESPN realize what Missouri and Kansas is. I spent two years lucky enough doing morning drives 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. It killed me. It took 40 years off my life. Um, and the, the passion behind a Kansas-Missouri game is, I would say, only one fraction of an inch behind the, the passion of a uh, Kentucky-Louisville game. Ryan is up first. Phone calls. Give me your Jeff Brom. Give me your Craig Thorpe. Give me your uh, predictions on Florida and Kentucky. And give me your thoughts on Louisville and St. John's at 267-2422. Go ahead, Ryan. You're on the air. Yeah, what's up, man? Nothing, uh, dude. Pick it up, man. What do you want? Talk about the Florida-Kentucky game. I'm a yeah. big Kentucky fan, but I think uh, it's pretty obvious everybody's kind of figured out there's two easy ways to beat Kentucky. Stop Patterson or stop me. Hmm. And uh, if he can do that, I don't think Kentucky has a shot. I hope they rebound against Florida, but I just don't see it happening, man. They're timid. They're weak. Uh, they just don't have that physical you know, presence on the court, and I think everybody's pretty much caught on to how to beat them. You know, you, you shut Patterson down or Meeks down, and Kentucky really doesn't have a shot. It's per and, uh, pretty. Pretty. was crazy for getting rid of Brown. It's pretty. I always thought Brown was a good guy. It's pretty simple, but it's pretty true what you say. And I thank you for the phone call. I mean, it's not that simple to stop Meeks and Patterson, but that is all you have to do. There is no toughness. Perry Stevenson has digressed. There is no. You know, every great center or power forward has a thug next to him or a running mate next to him. And, you know, Perry Stevenson, when Patrick Patterson went out last year in that wonderful game against Tennessee and so many others, he was hitting free throw line area jumpers and getting a lot of mean dunks. And uh, that has completely disappeared from his game. Josh Harrelson has never been utilized. We have no idea who he is. And there's really no one else to put in down low at all. Ramon Harris, God bless his fragile body. He's a waste of skin. Michael Porter is a waste of human skin. And right now, when you think about it, DeAndre Liggins and Darius Miller are, are you know, not waste of skins because they're freshmen, but they have no business playing Division I basketball at Kentucky. Kentucky will beat Florida. I guarantee it. Back to the phone lines on listening on LouisvilleSportsBuzz.com. Knob Noster, Bill Harris, watching on our website right now. Uh, Bill, I missed the last second shot, but I taped it. I came down here to prep. It was 46-43 uh, Kansas with about seven minutes to go. It was 30-16 uh, with Mizzou was behind at halftime, and they won 62-60. With 1.3 seconds to go <laughs> on a jump shot by Zaire Taylor. <laughs> a sweet shot, John. Soft, hit the rim, bounced up about three foot, got the, uh, the bounce into the net. Boom. 
and you know what I saw today in my new bracketology? Kansas State is in the tournament as a 12th seed because we watched them beat A&M this week. You know Melinda from St. Louis, my buddy. That's right. I called her right before the show. I said, K-State's in the tournament. She could not freaking believe it. How about a second round game of Mizzou? No, a first round game. Number five, Mizzou against 12, BYU. Two of the most famous tournament endings ever. Uh, BYU had Danny Ainge against Notre Dame. Right. And Mizzou on the other side had old Tyus Edney taking him out with UCLA. But <laughs> you know what? Uh, they're trying to get Mizzou's coach to go somewhere else, and I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. Where are they supposed to go? Anywhere in the state of Alabama. Anywhere in Alabama, anywhere in Georgia. Bob, be cool. Bill, be cool. Tomorrow night, I'll be wearing the Freak Show shirt that you made for us. And thank you for the phone call. Right back to the phone lines and Brian. 267-2422. Go ahead, Brian. Yeah, I would just call him to say, you know, uh, has the higher-ups at the University of Louisville just grown oblivious to looking at the Cragthorpe uh, situation because change one piece in the puzzle and they go from a championship team to a toilet bowl team. Why are, then, why are people not more upset? Why are people not more embarrassed? Oh, and I agree. And, you know, they keep getting rid of, instead of looking at where the problem is, they keep getting rid of all the championship makings they had. Now they're back to zero. And uh, knowing that, look at what Tulsa's record was this year without him. Yeah, and Tulsa went to a bowl game, and he brought over Tulsa coaches this year. As you know, thank you for the phone call. Obviously, uh, what is it, Jeff Lewis, a former NFL quarterback, never even heard of him, is now the wide receiver coach, uh, and he's calling his own plays. Gene West returns to television with a new commitment. There is nothing more important than your health. Join me on The CW Louisville for all the information you need to live healthy and stay well. Gene West's Medical Daily. The latest medical advances from here in Louisville to around the nation. The newest trends in fitness and beauty. It's your daily dose of health and wellness. Watch Gene West's Medical Daily. Weekdays at 10 during Louisville's newest local morning show, The CW Louisville Live This Morning. Little Bo Peep wanted a car for keeps. She looked all around and got turned down. Then she met the fine folks here at Jim Brown Auto Sales. Don't let the wool be pulled over your eyes. Come see my daddy's flock of cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs with down payments as low as $99. Visit us today on the web at www.jimbrownautosales.com. Who's your daddy? Quien es su papa? Cha cha. Some people might think that all banks are interested in is counting money. And while we put our number crunchers up against the best of them, there's one thing we know for sure. There's more to life, like hometown relationships you've created with us. At River City Bank, they are the reason we thrive. Locally owned and built on strong community values, we actively find ways to preserve our roots. After all, we work here, live here, and invest here too, which makes us less of a bank that counts your money and more of a bank that you can count on. River City Bank, FDIC. One source for all things multimedia. Interactive Media Lab. One source for all your web development and hosting needs. CD and DVD production. Corporate event planning and production. Video production and animation. Online media streaming. Audio production and sound design. InteractiveMediaLab.com A lot of unknown, great Eric Clapton out there, like the songs The Core and Mainline Florida strongly uh, insist that you go steal them immediately. Welcome back to the Poster Man Studios, the Freak Show. Great to be with you. It's time for uh, the magic box clip of the night and then right back to the phone lines. Uh, Daniel, Tim, and David at least getting on the air this segment. You can dial up right now, 267-2422. The Magic Box is this real cool invention the guys at the CW gave us here. I got my own laptop. My dad gave it to me for my Christmas present, so thank you, Dad. Um, anything I find on my computer, I can play on TV. And it's sponsored by Big League Haircuts tonight. And you'll see their website at, at the bottom of the screen, I believe. But it's really the coolest place to get your haircut in Louisville. And I need a haircut. But this one always makes me want to drink beer. Hit it. Excuse me. Pardon me. I just, I just want to get through there. Good store. Over here, if you don't mind. Thank you. Thank you. This guy is talking to me. Oh, this is his house. Oh, what's up, man? How you doing? Oh, no, no, no. That's my friend Mitch. 
you're mistaking me, that's my friend Mitch. He owns that. Oh, house. okay. Yeah. Anyway, yo, man, come hit this right here. You need to hit this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, hit that. No, I appreciate it, but I told my wife I wouldn't drink tonight. Besides, I got a big day tomorrow. It's, but you guys have a great time. A big day? You're doing what? Well, um, actually, pretty nice little Saturday. We're, uh, we're gonna go to Home Depot. Yeah, buy some wallpaper, maybe get some flooring. Stuff like that. Maybe Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't know. I don't know if we'll have enough time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? Give me that thing. I'll do one. I'll do one. We're gonna do one. We're gonna do one. We're gonna do one. Do, 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 do you, baby? <laughs> Once it hits your lips, it's so good. My dad, who's watching right now at home in Chicago with his lovely wife, June, on LouisvilleSportsBuzz.com. Um, and you can watch anytime live or on demand for free. He'll be happy to know that starting Wednesday, I can't drink for 14 days. They call it the quiet days in my family. It all has to do with the gay Atkins diet that I'm on and that I constantly cheat on. But tonight I will be buying a 12 and going home and jamming and then back to reality tomorrow. Thanks to Big League Haircuts, man. They're all over America. It's, it's much better than any place that you've ever been into that's a quote unquote hair sports place. Here it's everything, dude. It's, it's better than most sports bars in Louisville. Let me put it that way. To the phone lines, I, I'm, I'm assuming Daniel. This is your song. Daniel, you're live. Go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to say that uh, Kentucky has got only two players. They got Meeks and the other one, and that's it. They have no team. <laughs> Kentucky, I mean, uh, Louisville, I am a huge Louisville fan. I even have it tattooed on my body, the actual logo. Okay. I am a huge fan, okay? Wow. Now, Craig Thorpe has got to go. Yes. I call him Crack Thorpe, okay? Crack yeah, kid. That's, wow, he needs original. To leave. <laughs> yeah, he needs to leave. Really? Okay? As much as I He sucks! Have... He sucks! He sucks! He, he, he sucks! sucks! He doesn't look like a coach. He looks like a home ec teacher. And Tom Jerry sucks too! He needs to go. There are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. He made, he made the whole entire Brom people leave. It is uh, it's just ridiculous. They never liked the Brahms. George came in. You know what? He lets Patino, thank you for the phone call. He lets Patino run the basketball program, and George is too scared to mess with Patino. Okay? But you know what? George did come in and play all that disco crap. <laughs> Can't believe it. Nicknames and disco music at a damn college basketball game. Making him do that crap. Tom, t Tom, too tight, turtleneck, Jurich, Arthur Fonzarelli. Nice. And you know what? This is how short term my memory is. Just during the College Baseball World Series, which I thought was great, when Tom Jurich became the only AD other than Foley to have his team in a BCS championship title, not a title game, BCS game, and a College Baseball World Series in Nebraska, Omaha, Rosenblatt's, if you will, I think you will, and obviously a Final Four game. And the thing is, I don't think any of us, it, it, he's like George Bush right now. Just admit the mistake, man, like Obama did. Just be human. But this is it. This is it. He's calling his own plays right now, which he did anyway last year after the Kentucky game, self-admittedly, 80 to 20. Your phone calls when we come back. Good evening, everyone. I'm Doug Prophet. First tonight here at 10 o'clock. Thanks, Kentuckiana, for making WHAS 11 News on the CW Louisville your new choice for news at 10. Everything you need to know in just 30 minutes. We're tracking some of these showers right now with our Storm Tracker 3D radar. I want to take you to that and show you what's happening here. The top stories of the day, breaking news when it happens, all the day's sports on the CW Louisville at 10. I was limited. Keeping track of everything was driving me crazy. With my old cell plan, I had to talk on their time, not mine. That's why I switched to Cricket. Now I'm unlimited for real. I stay connected with everyone, whenever, without worrying about how much it's going to cost me. Call 1-800-853-6260 now and for 40 bucks a month, get unlimited talk, text, and U.S. long distance. That's to anyone on any network 24-7 on our all-digital 3G network with no signed contracts and no overages. And right now, save $50 on these cool Samsung phones or get the full-featured Samsung specs for only $49.99. So why wait? Call 1-800-853-6260, go to mycricket.com, or visit a Cricket store today and get unlimited talk, text, and U.S. long distance for just 40 bucks a month. 
getting it together is a whole lot easier when you're unlimited. Call, click, or come into a Cricket store today. Cricket Wireless. Real unlimited, unreal savings. Do me, do me. Ride real on the CW Louisville. Featuring Louisville's own Jeremy and Jason Canwell of Derby City Custom Motorcycles and Derby City Tattoos. Wild bikes, wild nights. And you'll see it happen right in your own backyard. Ride real. A trip through Louisville life that'll touch your heart and rock your soul. Ride real on the CW Louisville. Brought to you by Moda Men's Apparel, Monster Energy, City Block, and 1051 WLRS. Give me back my bullets. I don't need them because I don't kill anything. Check it out. Furlong's Restaurant. It's uh, on the corner of Shelbyville and Hurstbourne, basically. Even an idiot like me knows that. And they brought us last Friday night a pound of jambalaya. Kramer would have been so happy. And they're going to be bringing us jambalaya all the time. And they are the new sponsor of what's hot and what's not in the world of sports. Why hot? because they have the best Cajun authentic hot sauce. Hot sauce, what's that? In town. And they'll hire anyone to cocktail waitress, evidently. But um bump What's hot, as in good, mostly in the world of sports right now? Kansas and Oklahoma until tonight. You can tell I wrote the Kansas one before game time. Kansas and Memphis were the hottest two teams in America, and it looked like we're going for a rematch in the tournament. Right now, Memphis is a third seed, and Kansas is a third seed. Oklahoma's a number one seed, and they would face up against Louisville in the Final Four if they were to meet. Uh, North Carolina a a remains, I don't understand, so underrated. I love them to win it all. Tiger's wife reminds, reminds hot. I don't care if she has eight babies at once. Charlie Axel, I tried to do some reading. I don't know if it was Axel Rose. What was Tiger's dad's name? It wasn't Eldrick Sr., was it? Uh, Tom C T Earl, that's a good call. Tom Crean is hot because his best player, Devin Dumas, keeps punking people. And Utah's lawmakers are hot because they want a playoff system. Isn't it funny how whoever loses that year wants a new playoff system, which is cool, man. If they keep losing, then we'll keep getting more playoff systems. Definitely. Yeah, I'm ready, man. Do it. Ain't no light on the mother. Now, what's not hot in the world of sports? Let's take a look at what's not hot in El Mundo de Deportes. Gonzaga, falling apart. They were from a team that could beat you from five different positions. They can't beat anybody right now. And they are all the way down as a six seed. And they, in the first round, would play 11 seeded Utah State. Michael Pavlicek sleeper. I love Chris King. What else isn't hot? 19 points against St. John's. No guards on Kentucky. And no guards on Kentucky that will guard other people's guards. Alex Rodriguez blew the Hall of Fame. Vols women basketball, rated number 23, lowest in the country after win 1,000. David Dumas elbowing three people and suspended for one. And Louisville football is about as hot as a crap that a cow will take tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. And so much steam is coming out of that crap that the cow takes that it raises steam on the early morning dew of, of the winter grass that is coming up. And you can see flies swirling around the heat. That's Louisville football. Let's hit some phone lines, brother. 267-2422. Uh, 267-2422. 267 light them up, light them up, light them up right now, Trevor. David is live. Hello, David. How are you doing, buddy? What's up? Talk to, uh, talk to me, sir. I hang out at BJ's with uh, John Boy and everybody. I love John Boy. Yeah. Hey, uh, we don't call him Craig Thorpe. We call him Cooper Thorpe. He's well, you know, there's Clown Thorpe, there's Cooper Thorpe, there's Crack Thorpe. You people have two problems in this city. Your infatuation with the movie Major League and your silly nicknames for Steve Craig Thorpe. But I understand Cooper Thorpe, he, he took down something that was built and he broke it. Yeah, he's terrible. Maybe he'll be gone this year. Yeah, if his play calling don't work, then he'll be gone. Thank you for the phone call. The only credit, the only credit I give him for, give him is for taking on the full responsibility of the full responsibility. Either he's going to zing it and ding it, and the Tulsa time is going to be on, and everybody's going to forget, or he's going to bury himself. Tyler up next, I believe. Two six seven twenty four twenty two. Go ahead, Tyler. Man, I use falling apart. You think if they had the chair swinging coach like Bobby Knight, they'd still be doing good? Huh. 
Still living in the past, huh, buddy? Uh, that's, uh, you know, you, you got to give thanks for the phone call. It's funny, I, uh, my dad and I always hated Bobby Knight um, I, I, and respected him. Um, I think he's the best college announcer in basketball. I feel like Abraham Lincoln, hello. I think Bobby Knight is the best college basketball announcer in all of the game. I think he should immediately be, be put next to Jim Nance for the title game. I don't think there's a person in the country that can touch him. And if my, if my Maryland Terrapins offered me the chance to hire Bobby Knight right now as a bridge to our next coach, I would. Jeff Brom got stolen. Jeff Brom got raped. Jeff Brom will become the new head coach at FAU, and he'll recruit in a five-mile radius, and he'll come back, and he'll beat Louisville in a bowl game. If you love to laugh, flirt, or maybe more, then you've got to try Quest. Tons of the city's hottest singles call Quest every night. I've tried all the other lines, and it's always easy to find someone to hang out with and have a good time. You'll be amazed at how fun and easy it is to hook up over the phone. It's no wonder why me and my friends are always so busy. And best of all, it's free to try. You don't know what you're missing. So call now and score some hot, uncensored fun. Call 502-814-8888 now. I know. My diet? Well, yesterday I had an apple turnover. Mm-hmm. I know it's sort of my weakness. I always keep it in the house. Well, that and Boston cream pie, white chocolate strawberries. Yeah, yeah. And mmm, key lime pie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've already lost some weight. Yo Play Light with 14 delicious flavors at 100 calories. Babe, what are you doing? <laughs> this is my favorite way to learn English. My girlfriends turned me on to this. A lot of them like to meet guys this way. What would you say if you could say anything you want to me? I love it when I meet a guy and he knows how to turn me on. You should call now and try it for free. Try it free. Call 502-371-2222. That's 502-371-2222 now. Next Insider, exclusive, the Octomom's other children. You've seen the newborns on the Today Show. Now the Insider shows you their big brother and sister. Plus, look at those lips. Is the controversial mom trying to look like Angelina Jolie? And an all-new Toddlers and Tiaras. Next Insider, tomorrow at 7 on the CW Louisville. Next TMZ, Hulk's son nearly kills a friend, does time as a date. Oh, we asked him if his prison girlfriend's going to get mad. Oh, no. Tomorrow at 7.30 on the CW Louisville. Love me some old Van Halen, man. Can't believe I never saw them play, even when they got back together again. Love me the after midnight jam of the night brought to you tonight by Wild and Wooly, the greatest vintage video store in the Highlands. You can visit them at wandwvideo.com. It's Wild and Wooly. They've got you covered. That's followed by No Money Bickle, Steve, Teeve, and Booney and Chris on the phone lines. And next second, Rapid Fire. But the after midnight jam of the night brought to you by Wild and Wooly. Some good loving. We could all use it from 1981, buddy. Hit it. Good love and little Grateful Dead. I got lucky enough to catch uh, 15 concerts. If you want to recommend a Magic Box cut of the night or an After Jam cut of the night or an opening clip of the night, just email me, John Renshaw at uh, LouisvilleSportsBuzz.com. If you want to watch the show, John, freak, excuse me, Freak Show at LouisvilleSportsBuzz.com. I get confused. Freak Show, Freak Show at LouisvilleSportsBuzz.com. You know it's on the screen. And if you want to watch the show tomorrow at work, do it. Go to bed right now or bring your laptop in bed. How does it make you feel that 
you know, three out of five nights a week, probably, your wife, my face is the last thing she sees before she goes to bed. Do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing? Speaking about somebody's wife, I know this guy's wife. No money bickle. What's up, Freak? Hello, NMB. Break it down. Hey, I, I've been waiting so long, and you know, you was talking about all this stuff about Jerk and, and Louisville. I stand behind you 100% of a man. Uh, that place is messed up right now. And if they're going to do something about it with, with uh, everything that they have, you know, with, uh, he's back in uh, Craig Thorpe, Crackport, uh, Pop, whatever you call him. Um, and they get rid of Brown, uh, they're going downhill. And, you know, it's, it's over. And my wife watched your first segment and she said, there's no way you will give us therapy. Well, look, I love you and I appreciate it. And I understood about one out of every ten words, Booney. Booney is up next on the on the phone lines. Hey, Booney. What's up, Freak? How's it going, man? What's up, Booney? Man, I, I, I never was a big fan of Billy Gillespie. I always wanted John Pelfrey, and I think from five, six years ago, I thought he would be our next coach. I just think, I don't know if Gillespie's not a great recruiter, man. I had Darius Moore's good, and, you know, but we lost Alex Legion, we lost Derek Jasper. Those guys really could have helped us a lot. I know you've talked about that before. Jasper, no, really no, really no, no. I, I think you're being, I think you're underrated in your Jasper call. I don't think Legion would have helped this year. I think Jasper would have helped one hell of a lot. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, you know, it's just disappointing to see Michael Porter out there running the point, looking lost. and Scared uh, to shoot. Scared to shoot in Kentucky's home gym. Can you imagine a North Carolina player, an Indiana player, a uh, UCLA player, a Kansas player being booed by their own fans because they would not shoot an open jumper and having Mississippi State's guards back off of Darius Miller, Mr. Basketball in Kentucky? And then, the, I love the play against Mississippi State where, where they just decided not to guard. It's the last play in this highlight sequence, I think. And thank you for the phone call, Booney. Watch old boy at the top of the key here in a second after they hit a million threes. Two Kentucky guys stand behind the pick, and maybe we're not going to see it. It is, it's, 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 we're not going to see it. It's unbelievable. And look at the smiles, man, on Raven Johnson and uh, D. Uh, Boast and uh, Phil Turner and the boys. How could you not root for Mississippi State in that game? Let's take a quick one, Trevor. Who's up next? I can fit him in. Hey, Steve, you're up next. You got 45 seconds. Give me a breakdown, Steve. The freak bench warmer cornhole. Peace, Westside. Every time, bench warmers, guru, at night, mini man, hash. What you got? Not much, evidently. We got Rapid Fire up next. Rapid Fire brought to you by Smart Shoppers. My man, Brad, big Steeler fan. Anything you want for the inside, outside, top of your car, Smart Shoppers have it. 4,200 produce lane, I believe. 50,000 square feet of moon suits, candy urethane, and like amp amplifiers from uh, East Germany. We could like get high and listen to German disco. It'd be awesome. I just want to enjoy Valentine's Day with the boy that I love. Tuesday, it's Valentine's Day, Beverly Hills style. Everybody's gonna go to the dance. I want tonight to be perfect. Are you sure you're ready for this? I've never been more ready for anything in my life. 90210. Tuesday night at 8 on the CW Louisville. Something this hot, you need to know. So I'm going to put you on peep game. It's Quest. This thing is so crazy around the whole board. I mean, you can meet a whole load of official local singles, keeping it real all day. I always have a hot time, and all my girls are doing it too. It's free to try, so pick up your phone and call now. Try it free. Call 502-814-8888 now. The end of another day working for the man. You got that right. Hey, I feel you real people. How about some delicious hamburger helper? Bring it on. Ah. Mm. Looks pretty tasty, does it not? Oh, yeah. And so ridiculously easy to make. Even your boss could do it. That is easy. <laughs> Hey, I should get a window office for this. <laughs> hey, where are you going? To make hamburger helper. One pound, one pan, one tasty meal. The new season of Secrets of Louisville Chefs is at a new time. 5.30 p.m. on CW Louisville, starting February. New local TV at 5.30. I can see myself in the movies with my picture in city lights. Give me something I want to be. 
with your glamour Hollywood gets way left for the fame America's Next Top Model premieres Wednesday, February 25th on The CW. Kind of time for a little psycho thing we do every night called Rapid Fire. What it is is where you dial the phone number 267-2462. It's brought to you by the best auto supply store in America, smartshoppersinc.com. You say one sentence about anybody you want, and uh, it's a blind faith gesture on our part. We trust you to be relatively clean and to be, even more importantly almost, hooked on phonics. Speak clearly, turn your radio down, say something funny, say something controversial, say something rhetorical, say something knock-knock, say something completely bonkers, quote movie lines quote music lyrics and we go one to the next to the next to the next to the next as long as you're cool if you're not we'll roll on we got plenty of grateful dead to play smart choppers rapid fire you're first up my brother go ahead ain't got no dime but i got some time to hear your story i miss you jerry i got a cup of cold coffee i love uh wharf rat i love you david nutt rapid fire go Johnny John, Kenny Klein just called. Your press pass has been revoked, my friend. <laughs> Can you revoke something that's already been revoked? Wouldn't that like reverse the universe, like crossing the streams in Ghostbusters? Rapid fire, go. What's up, man? Rapid fire, man. Do it all the way, 100%. Every day, buddy. West side. Rapid fire, go. Shh, can you hear the crickets? They're having sex outside because the weather changed. You can tell. They got a tent out there. Rapid fire, you're live on the air. Go. I want to punch Melinda's teeth out, Johnny. <laughs> Patrick, you should feel fairly pathetic right now. Not for wanting to punch her teeth out. Came home Friday night. She watched the show. She goes, John, I watched five of your shows on tape. I heard Patrick on every one of them. She goes, doesn't he have three kids? Doesn't he have three kids and a wife and a job? How is he through on every of your shows? I go, he's just, a, he's just a dedicated brother stalker, weirdo, cool, he's a weirdo, he's a cool man. Rapid fire, 24 hours a day on the computer at louisvillesportsbuzz.com. Just click the rapid fire link and you can rapid fire all day about Hink or the pink. Rapid fire, go. Johnny, nobody gives a rat's ass about baseball and A-Rod. Who's talking about those homos? Only national radio fairies that feel like they have to suck up to the Yankees and the Red Sox. Nobody cares. No one. But every radio station in America, especially Jurich's radio station, the one that he runs, 790, the one where he won't let people call in and talk the day after Louisville loses 59 to 3, you know what Jurich will instruct his people to do on days like today when they fire Brom? He'll have D David Allen Greer on for five minutes, and then he'll enforce them to talk baseball for an hour. A-Rod, 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 derail all the controversy. Bring on the, bring on the water polo coach. Rapid fire, go. <laughs> Rapid fire, you're live on the Smart Shoppers Airwaves. How are you? Good. All right. I'm knock, knock. Tom Jurich and Craig Thorpe's teeth out. <laughs> One, two, baby. One, two. Jared's got a little thickness, a lot of old school. See, Jared's got a lot of hard hitting pipe carrying medieval mother flippers that he hangs out with. And Jared knows a couple dudes at Tulsa. Not Jared, uh, Cragthorpe knows a couple dudes at, Jer uh, at Tulsa that can mess me up. But this city is so underserved. This city is such a joke. Wait till I get this new radio station that I'm buying back up on the air. I'm going to hire my whole old lineup, Dave and Scott, in the morning. and. Big Easy and, and Rick Bozich and, and Matt Jones and myself and Rob Jones and Trevor Kelsey and um, we'll bring back the truth to Louisville. This city will never, this city will never be big time with only one radio station that is run by the athletic department of Louisville. What is America about? Truth or the search thereof. And that's what makes me so mad about a college football playoff is it, it is the exact the lack thereof a playoff 
There's no truth chasing going on. And in this town, this town, a mini Kansas City, which the USA Today called the greatest downtown revitalization in the last century, and IE Oklahoma City and other small areas that have really blossomed, if Louisville with the downtown arena would build museums and jazz halls around that and then fix, get all the dead bodies out of the Ohio River and, fix, and stink up the smell or vice versa and put cafes and jugglers and get rid of the crackheads and build more than just hooters down there, get the river, put cool things next to the damn new arena and then how about fixing up the area near the football stadium? What's wrong with all the warehouses next to the football stadium? Do they have to be that stupid? Big gray 1950 black and white people hanging. That's where like murderers hung out and like adopted families with like lassie dogs, those war warehouses. Give me some money that you're spending on parks and not fixing potholes on and I'll turn this city into a real city. I was limited. Keeping track of everything was driving me crazy. With my old cell plan, I had to talk on their time, not mine. That's why I switched to Cricket. Now I'm unlimited for real. I stay connected with everyone, whenever, without worrying about how much it's going to cost me. Call 1-800-853-6260 now and for 40 bucks a month, get unlimited talk, text, and U.S. long distance. That's to anyone on any network 24-7 on our all-digital 3G network with no signed contracts and no overages. And right now, save $50 on these cool Samsung phones or get the full-featured Samsung specs for only $49.99. So why wait? Call 1-800-853-6260, go to mycricket.com, or visit a Cricket store today and get unlimited talk, text, and U.S. long distance for just 40 bucks a month. Getting it together is a whole lot easier when you're unlimited. Call, click, or come into a Cricket store today. Cricket Wireless. Real unlimited, unreal savings. Boy meets girl. It happens every day on the singles line. I was so impressed with the quality of people I heard on the singles line. I was looking more for a friend than a soulmate. John is both. I knew right away it wasn't one of those meat market hotlines. The people I heard on the singles line were real and sincere, like me. Call anytime and discover a new way to meet the nicest single people in Louisville. The Louisville Singles Line, 253-9000. Gene West returns to television with a new commitment. There is nothing more important than your health. Join me on the CW Louisville for all the information you need to live healthy and stay well. Gene West's Medical Daily. The latest medical advances from here in Louisville to around the nation. The newest trends in fitness and beauty. It's your daily dose of health and wellness. Watch Gene West's Medical Daily, weekdays at 10 during Louisville's newest local morning show, The CW Louisville, live this morning. Welcome back to the Poster Man Studios. Dude, I was in Poster Man yesterday because uh, my friend Melinda wanted to go to Ann Taylor. So I went to the Oxmoor Mall. They sell beer in the mall at the Tumbleweed. I bought four Miller Lights and right across from the Tumbleweed is the Poster Man store where every one of these posters came for. So I went in there, Pharrell's in there with his big white afro. He runs the Kentucky State Fantasy Football Championship League. He's also obviously runs the Poster Man. I went in there, I picked out 10 posters. I said, get these in my studio next time you old mother flipper and God bless his 83 year old mom who fell down the very last step of uh, 15 steps the other day and fell on her tailbone and was back at work two days later. Let's take a look at tonight even though they're this weekend's Ernesto's highlights of the night featuring uh, the Johnnies and Rick Patino returning home to New York. Both Good and Jennings want time. Early on, Samardo Seals deals one hand punk helicopter. Look at that. Samardo Samuels dominated in the first half, but then DJ Kennedy assassins his mouth, knocking out two teeth beneath the glass, and the ball gets stuck. Yuck. Paris Horn can't score, gets his own rebound, finds Malik. Boop! 
who takes care of business. This game stays close. Look at this Matador open the door defense. Are you kidding me? Louisville was not ready to play all day long. They get saved though. One by Jay Smith, three, 19 in the second half, 19 of his 21. And here you look at uh, Terrence Williams, 0 for 7, but Dirty Earl, Dirty Earl. I like Dirty Earl. I like the rusty trombone. Block it, Jennings. Catch it, Clark. Throw it. Catch it, Jerry. Get fouled. And one of the more bizarre endings to ever cover a point spread. U of L wins 60 to 47 over the Johnnies, who were more than game in front of like two people in the whole building. You would think if they would have played somewhere else uh, with some people in attendance, they might have won that thing. Again, I'm so proud of Terrence Williams. And of course, three for 17 from three is going to kill you every time. You can say fewest points allowed by Louisville, but how about fewest points scored in the first half? But the thing that I'm so proud of with Terrence Williams is the way that he did not put his head down throughout the entire game, didn't score a bucket, and continued to play his game. How about Terrence Jennings' offensive rebounds, one that set up what I thought was the play of the game. He got it back out to Sosa, and Sosa just hit Jerry Smith on a back door for the two-handed slam. You know, with only 9.36 left to play in the game, St. John's only had, uh, I think uh, they had four field goals left, four field goals made in the, in the first half with 9.36 .30, to go. And again, Terrence, who's averaging 14, only had three. And Samardo didn't just leave the game. He was killing. He was four for four. And Terrence came in and finished with four and seven. Who won money on Team Renshaw and the Family Freak and who lost money this week? Some miraculous reason I stay in first place, even though I had Notre Dame over the weekend and lost. I'm taking Kentucky, laying the four tomorrow night against Florida, and I love it. Larry Lubers over the weekend. Tennessee screwed him, laying three. They choked against Auburn. He'll take Michigan at home, getting four from Spartans. Brian won with his alum, Western Kentucky, over the Jags of Alabama. He's taking Nova at home, laying five and a half against Marquette in the trap weird game of the afternoon. Unbelievable. Marquette coming off the loss in St. Florida. You think they're going to lose two in a row? South Florida, Marquette? And then Rob Jones. Who, I, I should tell you the story about Rob Jones and this girl this weekend, but it's not as pathetic as uh, his picks. Um, he had Notre Dame this weekend. He's taking Clemson, laying two at Boston College. Um, I actually fell back into that gambling hole this weekend. My friend Rodney Wiegert made me gamble and also made me drink shots of vodka. I, uh, I lost $75 on Gonzaga, laying the five and a half points on Memphis. But the next day, the next day I said, yo, give me that 75 back on Sunday on Wake Forest against Boston College. Just won that thing going out like a champ. My Terps won last night. We're gonna win the ACC tournament and we're gonna go to the big dance. I refuse not to. We're gonna come back and wrap up the show. We're here every night after South Park on WBKI. My name's John Renshaw. I can see myself in the movies with my picture in city lights. Give me something I wanna be. Retro glamour, Hollywood gets really for the America's Next Top Model premieres Wednesday, February 25th on The CW. One source for all things multimedia. Interactive Media Lab. One source for all your web development and hosting needs. CD and DVD production. Corporate event planning and production. Video production and animation. Online media streaming. Audio production and sound design. InteractiveMediaLab.com I'm Carolyn Whitaker-Tandy speaking to you on behalf of Family Scholar House. Family Scholar House provides housing and educational support for single parent students so they can earn a four-year college degree and break the cycle of poverty for themselves and their children. To learn more about Family Scholar House or how you can help, please contact the number below or visit FamilyScholarHouse.org. With your help, we're changing lives, families, and communities through education.
The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Hey, I gotta tell you about one of, if not my favorite sports bars in all of Louisville. It's certainly in my top five. Unfortunately for me, it's a little bit out of my way because I don't have a car right now. My car got stolen at gunpoint in Kansas City. And none of the patrons at BJ Sports Pub on Global Avenue, shockingly enough, will let me spend the night at their house afterwards. I, I hung out with a Banyan one night, but uh, like Raw or Craven or Turtle or Rock or BJ or Craven or Nina or Tater or John Boy or Frog or Black Bear Roy, you figure if I would get a lift 45 minutes from St. Matthews down there where I live at Creekside and come and hang out for a night at BJ's and maybe at least you could let me sleep in the stock room or something. I'll watch uh, 10 items or less. I can do it, man. I love it. But BJ's is awesome. They have more high definition televisions than I've seen in any sports bar in Louisville. And if you're ever in the PRP, just north of... If you're ever in the PRP, just down by the river, down by that cool fish place. What's it called? Mike Wentz? Mike Lentz? Who's that Mike Lentz fish place? Len who? Mike Lennings. If y'all know where Mike Lennings is, you can smell BJ's cold beer. See that name Dugan Ryan? Change it to DRyan at LouisvilleSportsBuzz.com. If you want to advertise with the freak show or Scott and Dave, DRyan at LouisvilleSportsBuzz.com. Kyle Draper hooks us up with highlights. Thank you so much. Smart Choppers and Rapid Fire, equivalent with excellence. Poster Man Studios, LouisvilleSportsBuzz.com, brought to you by Interactive Media Lab. If you need someone to build your website, do you see how good our streaming is live on TV, 24 hours a day, live Rapid Fire? Of course, ESPN, Raycom, and the boys, thanks for all the highlights. The director of The Freak Show, Brian Hash. The audio wizard, Rob Jones. The floor manager, the only guy down here in the warm room with me, is Shane Barmore. Nick Nevels have no clue. Larry Lubers, he's the guy that misspells all the words on graphics. And Amanda Green, her taste in men is like Tom Jurich's taste in football coaches, man. It just ain't right. The, when the obvious is right there to happen and everyone knows what to do, Jurich does the opposite. And Amanda, when everyone knows what you should do, it's obvious you do.